Hi, I'm Cheyenne Buckles, and I'm a senior from Thomas Jefferson High School. I have always been too afraid to sit next to the emergency exit door on an airplane. Not because I was afraid that the door might open and I would fall from the plane into the empty sky, but because I've always been terrified that I might have the sudden urge to open the door and be sucked out, to feel the high altitude steal the breath from my lungs, the 575 mile per hour wind suck me from my seat and send me spiraling down to meet the surface of the earth once more, wide smile face and waving hand, mind racing with the thought of how it would feel to hit the ground face first. When they tell us to listen carefully to the in-flight safety video, I put my headphones in, tune it out. I am terrified that if given the option, I would jump from the plane before the flight attendant even told me we were going down. And you see, I know that there's a chance I wouldn't fasten my oxygen mask on. But I would revel in the sickening feeling you get in the pit of your stomach when you realize you can't breathe. That after 10 to 15 seconds of exposure to the atmosphere, I would feel euphoric. And after 30, I would no longer be coherent. I tell myself that there's a chance I wouldn't make sure my seatbelt clicked into place in hopes that I could understand what the back of the seat felt like against my face, and I know that they tell you to tuck your head between your knees in case of an accident. But you see, I also know that this is actually the surest way to die and keep your teeth intact for dental recognition. The surest way to stay alive is to sit up straight and stick your legs out. You will break a leg, but you will survive. And although I know this, I still wedge my head between my knees murmur my final goodbyes, whisper a goodnight prayer. I think to myself, at least if I go this way, my family will have closure. They won't wonder why I willingly jumped from an airplane without a parachute. They won't send search parties out for my body in hopes of a proper burial. They won't keep themselves up at night trying to breathe air back through my mask and into my body. I am sitting next to the emergency exit door on an airplane. I will ask you to switch me seats. <laughs>